Fair haggis. Fair for your honest sonsy face. Great chieftain o' oh, the pudding race. A burden of all ye tack your place. Page, tripe, or firm. Weel are ye worthy o' oh, a grace as lang's my arrow. The groaning trencher there ye fill. Your hurdies like a distant hill. Your pen would help to mend the mill. In time o' need, while through your pores the Jews distill like amber beet. <laughs> <laughs> This night, see rusty graver's death, and cut ye up with ready slip, trench in your gushing entrails, break like ony ditch, and then, oh, what a glorious sight, warm, reeking, rich, then horn for horn, they stretch and strive, they'll tack the highmost on the drive, Till all the real swell kites be live are bent like drums, and then this goodman like to ride. We think it hums. Is there that o'er his French ragu a rolio that would stow a sou, a fricassee would make a spew with perfect scunner, looks down with sneer. Scorn for view and sick of that. Poor dear. See him o'er his trash. As feckless as a withered rash. His spindle shank. A good work lash. His knee. A net. Or bloody flood their field to dash. Ho oh, oh, ho. How unfit. But. Mark the rusty. Hang his faith. The trembling earth resounds his trade. Clapping his wally knee with a blade, and he'll mack it whistle, and legs and arms and heads will snake, like tops of thistle. Ye powers, well mark mankind your care, and dishes out a bill of fare. Who oh, Scotland wants no stinking wear that jops and luggies? But if ye wish her grateful prayer, gee her a haggis. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the haggis.